Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this season of autumn, we are going to paint a harvest moon. I have taken this picture from the internet as a reference and we will be trying to replicate the same on our painting today. As I am using watercolors with this painting, I have started off with a clean wash of water on my paper. So next up, as you saw, the top part was a violet color. So I'm giving a base shade with a really really light violet that I got by mixing red and blue. And the bottom part was covered with orange and I'm adding yellow as I paint orange and blending both the colors together. But you can see that I've started this from the bottom so that I have a very light empty space or kind of a white space in between that will get the effect of a soft gradient look. And also, I forgot to draw the circle for the moon before I started painting. So I just quickly drew it now and removed the paint from the inner part of the moon by using the dry brush technique. So next, you can see that I've added a second layer of paint using the same colors. The sky is never a quiet drama. So not to have a monotonic, same color looking sky, I have added a little bit of blue. Actually, blue in two different shades and quite blended it with violet but not completely. So next, for the clouds, I have picked up the same violet but this time I have not diluted it with water and kept it really dark. So you can see that I'm adding these really thick fluffy clouds by just putting my brush, tapping my brush on paper randomly just to get the shape of the cloud. Painting the moon has always been a scary task for me and according to what I could see in the picture, the moon has a base shade of yellow. So after yellow, I'm creating depth by adding yellow ochre to it. But this also is not completely and I'm just adding it in a few spots to create depth in just certain places of the moon. I'm also adding a little bit of red to get a more darker tone. So lastly, let's paint the grass. For this, you can see how I'm moving my brush and creating thin strokes with my tip of the brush to create this beautiful grassy effect. So after this, I'm just adding those small flower kind of things on the top. I am really not sure of how, what do you call them, but uh, this is how it looked in the picture and I'm kind of trying to replicate it in the same way. In case you're wondering why the moon looks like that all of a sudden, I added white in between and forgot to record that step. I added white only to create some lightness in the moon. This is still not the best of the moon part, but I think this finishes our painting for today. And really hope you enjoyed watching it. Do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all in the next tutorial video.